What does it look like when you can take your plastic water bottle, grind it up, and then pour that into the Gigabot print head and print something useful? One of the great projects we're working on now is the pellet printer. It's taking the Gigabot platform, removing the standard print head that traditionally uses filament, and replacing that with a new print head that accepts plastic pellets. We think it's a super powerful tool that will open up new and high growth markets around the world and also bring down the cost. So traditional filament can be a little pricey for plastic. The plastic pellets are an order of magnitude less in cost and there's a greater variety of plastic pellets available on the market. At the same time, as we print from pellets, we can print a much larger bead through a larger nozzle and allow us to create those prints faster. The idea to opening to recycled materials, to me that's really cool. You could take your prints that failed, grind them up and have a almost ready to print object. As well as the cost of pellets is so much cheaper than the cost of filament. It's a lot cheaper to run one of these printers. Utilizing the technology that we actually create helps us become very lean and very efficient in reducing the design cycle. When you run a 3D printing company, you are utilizing the fastest way to prototype. It's amazing the power of 3D printing to shorten that prototyping process. I've worked in traditional manufacturing all my life. Anytime you come up with a new product or you want to prototype a new idea, the lead time is terribly long. But here we can go from an idea to a CAD model to a physical part in our hands that we can be bolting on in a matter of hours, like in the same day, which is unheard of in the industry. As we progressed, we started testing more and more and realizing what needed to change. And as we went, it just kind of evolved into what we have now. It took a lot of different shapes. I think we're on revision four now. The pellet printer is a functioning unit and it's functioning well. It's very promising. We've got some beautiful looking prints on it. And the next step for us will be to take it from a prototype to a finished product. And that can be quite a chasm to cross. A lot of pellet extruders you see on the market now still have a lot of issues. We don't want the experience using pellets to be any different from using filament, except instead of having to buy a roll of filament, you have to buy a couple pounds of pellets and just dump it in. We want to improve the print speed, improve the print quality, something that rivals a traditional filament-fed printer, even though we're using a larger nozzle, even though we're using larger layer heights. The other way we want to move forward is using new materials. Right now we've printed with PLA and PET, two common materials used in 3D printing. We would like to see multiple materials run on the machine, characterize the materials and how they print, developing all the simplified 3D profiles so that a customer is able to use just a drop-down box, pick their material, pick their layer height, and say go. We see that just as the first step. The second step would be to bring in the recycled material that's really our goal. So it's innovations like this that really keep Re3D pushing forward on the technology and delivering a product that customers not only want now, but they'll have use for in the future.